Well, it's been obviously one of the biggest stories talked about for a long time in the Isle of Man. In, in fact, just on MTTV, the downloads have run to thousands over the weekend since it's announced that the Sefton Group is being helped out financially by the Isle of Man government. And on that note, I should just apologise to anyone who's had problems downloading because we have had the servers working very hard. The, the interest is there. With me is uh, backbencher Alfred Cannon. Um, and you aren't happy about this at all, I understand. No, I think, I think uh, there's a number of uh, very serious questions that, that we need to ask about this uh, particular deal. But first, first and foremost, why should the Sefton um, group, who have been the masters of their own destiny in terms of what they've chosen to do and, and venture into the property field, be bailed out um, by the taxpayer when, you know, over the last decade there's a number of companies that have effectively uh, had to go into, into the liquidation process uh, and be wound up and numbers of people who, who, who are losing their jobs um, currently or, or in the past through redundancy and the government hasn't been there to bail them out. So, so first and foremost this is a um, question about fairness and secondly um, when you talk about the, the national interest you have to be sure that you are acting indeed in, in a manner um, and, and in a way that is absolutely protecting the national interest and when um, um, the, 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 the feedback that we've had so far from the Chief Minister and the Treasury Minister that's going to send the economy into a tailspin and that jobs are going to be uh, lost overnight seems to me to be uh, completely overblowing the situation. Let's break it down. I mean, this is what he just said. You know, obviously you've seen the interviews as well. Uh, it, it was crucial to keep 300 people employed. Otherwise, the, the bill from being unemployed and job seekers allowance and so on would be a massive burden on the economy. And of course, TT Week seems to be on everyone's mind that over 20% of the bed spaces are provided by the Sefton Group. You don't think that's good enough reason? Well, no, I, I think that clearly what's happened is the Sefton Group has, has reached the end of its, uh, effectively, its, its trading life and uh, have required a, a further restructuring of their debt, effectively a, a bailout to, con to continue trading. I don't think it would have been a case that the doors would have been shut uh, immediately. Um, certainly my belief is that the banks, in terms of the lending, would have put in place uh, the requirement for a receiver to have been appointed at their wish and that receiver would have uh, managed the process um, through until, until sale. And even if it was a stage where the creditors were calling in uh, for, for liquidation, there could have been agreement um, between the creditors that the company was run as, run as a going concern. And, and, and thirdly, I have actively spoken to two businessmen on this island who I'm not going to name, but one of whom uh, would, has, has actively said that, that he would be interested in buying the, the uh, parts of the uh, group literally tomorrow if the price was, was right. So well, I've heard those sort of rumours. I don't know the same people, but there was offers to the group f to buy it, but obviously the price that you know, wasn't as good enough that, for the Sefton to entertain well, it. What, what you've got to ask yourself, therefore, is is the group solvent or is it not solvent? Because um, it seems to me a very strange situation when allegedly, and I have to say allegedly, there have been offers potentially made and or there are people out there, as I understand it, and I know for a fact, who are interested in buying potentially parts of this group, um, uh, uh, it's very strange that the company or the directors don't want to seem to entertain those offers. And let, let's be clear about this. You know, the Sefton is really effectively a two-part. It has the property, it has the leisure, leisure business, which was trading relatively well, okay, may have required some, some, some perhaps some better management. And then when Mr. Ferguson Lacey came along and his board of directors, they grew the company effectively into a property company with 85 million pounds worth of debt. And I, again, I go back to my point, why is that the taxpayer's problem? They are the ones who have created this mess and they're the ones who are going to have to sort it out. It is ridiculous um, to expect the taxpayer to come along and bail out a company through their own management failings. So putting this into layman's sort of terms, like, I'm thinking like HMV, for instance. You know, there's a big company that had troubles. They went into administration. Some of the places were saved. Some were sold off. I is that what you'd have wanted? You'd have seen them go into administration, well, put a lot of doubt in people's minds who had maybe weddings booked at the, at the hotels. I mean, this is what they were trying to get oh, okay. away from, weren't they? The, the, the doubt that what would be saved, what would go. I think, I think we need to be clear that there are technicalities around the point of administration, which is applicable under UK law. Uh, and, and isn't uh, on, in the Isle of Man, it's, it's, uh, it seems to be a, a liquidation um, situation. But setting aside, that, aside the, 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 the issue 
uh, the issue surrounding, surrounding that. It's entirely feasible that the bank had um, options to appoint a receiver to manage this process through, and they, they would not w have wanted to see the business run into the ground and close its door because their debts would have been absolutely uh, almost worthless at that point. They need to keep these things as, as a going concern. To, so to, to say that the, the Sefton was going to shut overnight and there were going to be 300 job losses, I don't believe is accurate. And I don't believe people have done their homework in terms of finding a solution if, if that was the case. And I think um, uh, the other point is that you have to uh, question um, you know, the valuations of, of the whole group as, as a whole and wonder why, as I said before, um, the group hasn't been willing to, 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 or would appear to be either willing to go out and actively find a buyer or has not accepted offers that have been put to it in the past. Well, just hold it there, Mr Cannon. We'll talk more in our next section.